Good morning and welcome to our prayer for today for Monday the 29th of November. As we begin to learn more about the lives and individual personalities of the 27 migrants who drowned when a flimsy boat capsized six miles off Calais in stormy weather, we cannot help but see that each one of these people, desperate for a new life, is a person. A daughter, wife, mother, sister, son, husband, brother, father, just like you and me. Perhaps the only difference is that they have so little that they are willing to risk their very lives in seeking a new life. And it doesn't matter how badly off we think we are here in Barton-upon-Humber in the United Kingdom. The fact remains is that we are not driven by desperation to put our lives at risk and seek a new life elsewhere. And the faith of these people doesn't matter either, because God does not see the boundaries between different faiths. God is God. And in each one of these people, God speaks through them. And so today we join in mourning the loss of the 27 migrants who drowned last week, giving thanks for the lives that we lead that doesn't require us to do what they have had to do. And we pray for their families and friends as they mourn the loss of their loved ones. And so we pray, Lord, we pray for your world. We pray for all those affected by the tragedy in the English Channel and all human tragedies, for the families and friends who continue to grieve lost loved ones, for all those who bear physical and mental scars, and for all those neighbours and emergency services, personnel who bear traumatic memories. We pray too for all those who lost their lives, that they would find refreshment and peace in God's heavenly kingdom. God of all, in whose hand each human life is held, and to whom every one of us is precious, pour out your healing on all those whose lives have been torn apart. Help them to rebuild their lives and find peace, and grant your wisdom to all who make an inquiry into the causes of this disaster, that through their work griefs may be aired, Stories may be told, souls may be given rest, and society may be transformed. For the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> 